everyone, it's Elaine from Lark and Lane Creations. Thanks for coming back to my channel. I greatly appreciate you. Today, I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. And that is tell you a few items that I have in my Etsy shop. And first thing is blueprints. I actually have blueprints that are 24 inches wide. Is that right? 30 inches wide by 24 inches tall. I think that's right. 24 by 30. Anyway, they're big. And these are just some of the samples where I've cut them down um, to use as journal pages. Some of them don't have anything on one side, which is pretty cool. And then others are busy, 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 busy. And... I'm showing you these because I don't know if you remember or not, but the very first journal I ever did was with Nick the Booksmith when she did her Desert Island Challenge. Um, I think that is where I guess actually I first got noticed and I kind of got hooked. So I want to show you that I have blueprints in there. Now I'm going to tell you they're expensive to ship. I give you a pretty good amount for the dollar but they're expensive to ship not my fault <laughs> then the other thing that i have and i still i've kept them in the cellophane so i'm hoping you're going to be able to see pretty well um but i have book plates and these are mostly leather there's a few that are pull leather but they're still pretty nice and what i do is i give you um five of them for eight dollars and here, let's take this one out. I give you the entire book plate. It's got the holes in it so you can do brads or whatever. And I give you this little middle piece also along with it. Um, to me, that would be cute, like at the top of a notepad or, you know, somewhere in your journal on a pocket or somewhere on your um, mixed media piece is a little something. And, you know, if you have tools, you can stamp it and um, emboss in it and everything. Make it nice. So I've got all kinds of colors, and anyway, you can check that out. The other thing that I just added to my shop is I had found an assortment of old checks. Now, I just put these together real quick. I have not, um, you know, stained them around the edge or anything, um, you know, distressed them. But what I wanted to show you were these um, have the punched holes in them. So that when you get the JPEG, you will see where you can punch. And what's cool about it, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see on camera or not. Yeah, kind of, sort of. You, um, It's got texture to it. And that's what I really like. And I give them to you in JPEG also. That way, if you want to make the check a bigger check or a smaller check, that's up to you. You can manipulate it if it's a JPEG. Um, and what I've done is I've given you nine fronts and six backs. All right. Now, talking about the backs, these two, most of the time when people endorse their checks, they endorse on that end of the check. Well, there's a couple in there that it wasn't that way. So when I went to do the piercing of the paper, I noticed in the back, and let's see if I can get this where you can see, you can't, you can see that there are holes there but I punched over here. So that back has to get swapped around. So I tore these so I would know not to use them. And, um, I, you know, I still might throw them in something, continue to tear them and tuck them in somewhere. I mean, you can still write back there and all, It's you know. But there's a couple of them you do have to watch to make sure that you put it on right. But for the most part, all of them, they line up great. You can punch them. They're great. And I've got these in my... Um, shop a little cheap that one didn't have any punches on it um but the all the other ones did i think there were two that did not so anyhow i just wanted to stop by and say go please check out my shop my shop i don't normally do little promotions like this but i thought that these checks were really cool and i have a bazillion blueprints so if you live anywhere near me and you can save on the shipping i'll be glad to um you know meet you <laughs> But otherwise, um, like I said, they are a little expensive to ship. Anyhow, 
I do appreciate it. And remember, I put out a video every Tuesday. Um, it's in the evening. I also have an Instagram account. Um, I've been trying to show my goodies there. And I also have a Facebook group, Larkin Lane Creations on Facebook. And now I will say that's mostly about upcycling things. So if you have stuff to upcycle, you know, please come and join my group. And um, there might be some other things going to happen there soon. Some invitations to some things. Um, but anyhow, I guess that's really it in a nutshell. Um, just wanted to share these three things with you. I have a couple other um, magazines and things in there. But these are the, the three things that I think that journalers will get a kick out of using. So I appreciate it. And uh, you all behave. And I'll see you down the road. Catch you later. Bye.